Hello. Hello. My name is Natasha and I'm married to a Japanese citizen and I'm occasionally working in a shrine. Alright, so where are you from? You said? From Germany. From Germany. Wow, it's nice. So which part of Germany are you from? Like uh, I'm close I'm close to Düsseldorf. Düsseldorf. Many Japanese people are living there. Yeah, okay. So I could I could try many Japanese food before coming to Japan actually. Oh I see. So today we will try some seafoods, maybe fish. Okay, we I'm haven't curious. Tried it yet, but Nagi and some sushi restaurants around the station. Splendid! Right, <laughs> so yeah, let's check go it check out. it out. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, here. Yay! Let's try eel. Hey, let's go. I'm really sad about that. I really miss alcohol because I love drinking. Yeah, you're from Germany, of course. I'm actually half German, half Russian. I'm a mix. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey. So I'm super strong. <laughs> <laughs> so I order unaju. What is unaju? Unaju is like unagi mm -hmm. in a box. This? Yeah. Okay. With rice. And I also order kimoyaki. Mm -hmm. Shiitake and hotate hashi. Kimoyaki? Dried? Kimoyaki is Kimoya like uh, kimoyaki. Oh, ah, okay. What, what is that? They have like two types of soup. Oh, yeah. I... One is for miso soup and the other one is for like broth from the eel. Uh, maybe miso soup. I really crave it. So why you decided to come to Japan? Are you filming that already? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did um, that in my university time. I studied fashion design, and my university offered an exchange to Japan, so I could do an internship in Utsunomiya in the kimono shop. Mm. And this is how I came to Japan because I did a homestay and a internship in a kimono shop for three weeks. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. And uh, I realized that I actually kind of like it here, so I decided to come back. So I came yeah. uh, back for one year working holiday. Oh. And during the working holiday, I met my future husband. <laughs> and <laughs> nice. that's how everything played out. Uh, you spent like most of the time in Utsunomiya uh, when you came here for the first time. Yeah, for the first time. I've been only in Utsunomiya. And um, during my working holiday, I moved straight to. Tokyo. To Tokyo, exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> More opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a lot of cool things here during that year. For example, I worked in a, in a Meido Kissa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my first job here. Oh, really? Yeah, in Akihabara. Oh, yeah. So that was really fun. Yeah, that's not something that exists in the world. Yeah, it's exactly. It's only Japan. Only pretty Japan. unique. But no, I'm still doing something unique. I'm, I'm working occasionally in a, in a shrine and I'm doing Nikobaito. <laughs> it totally <happens. laughs> Yeah, totally opposite, right? Oh, oh, oh. Very, cafe and Nico. Very different, but also something yeah. rare. Usually when I tell Japanese people about that, they're like, eh, a foreigner doing Miku Baito? <laughs> I can show you photos later. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, if you want, you can include one in your video. <laughs> I'm dancing ritual shrine dances, <laughs> like Kagura dance. Yeah, really. I think I'm the only one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but of course I like anime manga too. <laughs> one comes with another. How about Japanese foods? Which is also totally different from your country. I love sushi, of course. <laughs> yeah, but I eat everything here. I love sushi. I love um, sukiyaki and uh, nikujaga. I love yeah, nikujaga. Yeah, yakitori. I everything and uh, yakiniku. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is natto. So I wrote you that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the only thing I cannot handle. So what's this? Beer of the eel. Oh, oh, interesting. This is maybe my first time trying this actually. I like normal liver. I don't know if I've ever tried eel liver. Eel liver. Then if you want to add some papers. Oh, okay. It's like a special paper. If it's a recommendation, I will do so. Sancho. Ah, I know Sancho. Yeah, it's back in my. This is good. Mm. It's really soft. Mm. Tastes like liver, but a bit different. Yeah. Mm. Good one. I like it. I like it. Mm. Thanks for the introduction. <laughs> you really goes everywhere. Mm. Oh yeah, it's such a pity I can't drink right now. I really would love to. So you have like a baby six months. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I have a six month old at home, so I'm still nursing, so I cannot touch for at least another half year. But yeah. I really miss it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Yay! Can I finish it? Yes, right. <laughs> <coughs> okay, Enjoy. I will take one. Yeah. Do I need to add salt or something? Or so no mama? Hotate's favorite. 
Mm, this is really good. <laughs> mm, the salt is perfect now. So far, you have to only pick favorites of mine. I'm happy. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, they're good. Mm. It's always a good combination. So do you eat mushrooms in your country? Yeah, but we don't have shiitake. Oh. Shiitake are maybe entirely Asian only. Okay. Because it's yum. Mm, it's good. <laughs> it's still, it looks still super broiling hot. <laughs> so I'm careful. So, that's good. Is it good? Is it Kamagoyaki, but with eel inside. With eel inside. This is also interesting. Oh, a truly specialty. Also my first time. <laughs> itadakimasu. Yay. Ja, itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, very good. Mmm. Splendid, as always. Have a try a sip. Yeah. I hope I'm not going to burn myself. Itadakimasu. Mm, still too hot. No, but so good. I'm so happy about this soup. Yeah, it's warm up your body. Mm. <laughs> Perfect and on, co on cold days. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Okay. Just. Um. Mm. <laughs> Spend it. <laughs> I feel like one of these people from the from the variety shows in Japanese TV, where they keep saying, mm, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what? When was the last time you ate? Oh, that was actually <clears throat> maybe with the uh, when I started to date my husband, and uh, we were not married yet, and he I met his parents for the first time, and on that day he also it just happened that uh, his parents were in Osaka, and we met his parents in Osaka, yeah. and the parents invited us for unagi, unagi in Osaka. Wow. So, the, so it's kind of memorable. Yeah, memorable. So <laughs> that's why I still remember when I first ate unagi. That's nice. <laughs> but you haven't had like uh, unagi for a while. Uh, my husband actually keeps eating unagi at home, but I'm... I can't even remember. Maybe it was the, the last time when I met my my, uh, my future parents-in-law, I ate this style. But occasionally it's really refreshing to eat it, so I'm happy about it. Especially in specialties like here in the, yeah. in the tamagoyaki. <laughs> but it has really been a while. Am I talking too fast in English? Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. I can't stop. I had some time... One, one time a Japanese person told me I talk too fast. <laughs> Mm. Got it. Do I use the pepper again if yeah. I want? Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, super soft. It's melting on the tongue. Mm. Mm. Splendid. <laughs> not uh, not exaggerated. It was really good. I'm soft and melting. Japanese eel is different from, from European eel. Mm. Our eel is mostly smoked and very oily. But Japanese eel is grilled and not so greasy and not so oily. How do you eat that eel in your country? Um, it's recommended to eat it with a, with a lot of bread. Oh, okay. Because, you, of course, you can eat it pure, but then you, you might risk an upset stomach because oh, of all the oil. Mm. But it tastes really good, like most smoked um, foods. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it has a, a strong smoked flavor, but it's really good. Can you like, hold up the box? Oh. Yep. Is that the proper way? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay, I'm learning a lot of... <laughs> I'm, I'm learning <laughs> Japanese manners today. Mm. Mm. By the way, this is my first food today. Oh, really? Yeah. Fates of a mother. So, so you don't have any time like, to cook or to eat? We had a long night today, so I was sleeping pretty late in, so I had no time to, to eat. Just baby cry. Oh yes, exactly like that. Oh. Yay. Pickles. Mm. I'm crazy about Japanese pickles. So you said you're mixed. I'm mixed. Russia and Germany. <laughs> exactly. You spend most of your time in this in Germany, right? Yeah, I grew up in, in Germany. Up in, yeah. mm. But I also, Russia? yeah, I spent that time too. I have relatives there in Moscow. Moscow. Oh. Mm, by airplanes quickly, but I used to go by train. By train, oh. it takes three days. Three days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. Mm. 
almost finished. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Eating like a Japanese. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. happy. Then I'm happy. <laughs> That's a compliment. Could you so some dish I can finish my miso and my pickles too. So you have lots of German friends here? Yeah, there's the, um, of course, um, I interact with the German community here. Oh, but they are here for work or they mm. are here for... The, the men are usually here for work, but the ladies are also married like me. Oh, I see. Two weeks ago I did this cabbage, uh, pickled cabbage by my chef. And you put it in a, in a plastic bag and you squeeze it with, uh, with a bit of salt and uh, vinegar. Uh, mm. You have like a sauerkraut, right? Like, like. Oh yeah, this is also pickles, but yeah, actually it's I... cabbage. Yeah, it's cabbage, you're right. Yeah, so my dish. Very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed my meal. Alright. Yeah. Hey, we finished. Yay, we finished. That was so delicious. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you full? Yeah, I'm very full. <laughs> I love my lunch. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. So, bye bye. Bye bye.